Speaker. My name is Speaker William Lowe, and I call this meeting to order. Invocation, I would like to ask Representative Daryl Proctor for invocation this morning. Thank you, Speaker. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day and allowing us to be here today as we do our nation's business. We thank you for everything, for the many blessings of life. And then I pray for guidance today as we do our nation's business. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hello, sir. Roll call. National Council Secretary, Alicia Strobel. Speaker William Lowe. Here. Galen Cloud. Here. Mary Crawford. Present. Joyce Steer. Lega. <laughs> Patrick Freeman. Here. Sandra Golden. Leonard Gouch. Nelson Harjo. Here. Joseph Hicks. Here. Randall Hicks. Here. Robert Huft. Present. Anna Marshall. Present. Charles McHenry. Here. Thomasini Hola Osborne. Present. Daryl Proctor. Here. Mark Randolph. Present. Sandra Golden. Present. Leonard Gouch. It looks like Leonard is connecting to oh, Leonard Gouch. Leonard Gouch. It shows he's on, but um, 15 present, one absent. We have 15 present, one absent. That constitutes a quorum. Any business conducted today will be valid. On to the order of business, TR 22-145, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing conservation regulations for the regulation of all hunting, fishing, trapping, and gathering on the Muscogee Creek Nation reservation. Sponsor, Representative Joseph Hicks. Speaker, I make a motion to adopt. Representative Joseph Hicks makes a motion to adopt. I second it. Second it. Seconded by Representative Galen Cloud. Discussion. Speaker, I'd like to give some time to uh, Mr. Trenton Kissy, please. Yes, sir. Mr. Kissy, are you on the line, sir? Yes, sir. Outstanding. The floor is yours. Thank you, Representative Hicks, and thank you, Speaker, for including us on this emergency session. Uh, most of you probably remember last spring we um, repealed and replaced the Wildlife Code, and so as part of that, my department's responsibility was to bring these conservation regulations back um, for National Council approval. Um, sorry. Anyway, these are these are the season dates, bag limits, um, appropriate weaponry, um, licensure and permitting requirements. Um, that's what's included in, in this uh, set of wildlife regulations. The code stipulates that these um, will be changed every year. So every year we will bring these back to National Council. Um, Jake, my wildlife biologist, he's here as well. Um, the pro program coordinator for wildlife, he's here and um, has been doing a lot of population studies. And so we'll keep an eye and keep track of all that data, make a presentation back to National Council in, in February per the code. And then any changes that um, you guys deem fit or that the data seems fit, we can make those changes then for the following season. Um, this year, we, did, we didn't mimic or mention the state of Oklahoma at all in our regulations. Some of the other tribes have, have adopted those regulations outright. Um, we didn't mention the state of Oklahoma, but just for ease of purpose um, and for all the citizens not to have any confusion, all of the season dates and bag limits are the same as the state's regulations, so there won't be any confusion or overlap there. Um, and with that, if there's any questions, like I said, Jake and myself are both here, happy to answer any of those questions. Thank you, sir. Do we have any questions for Mr. Kissy or Jake? Council representatives. Uh, Jake, while we're on the subject, do you have anything to add, sir? No, I think everything's going to be brought up and done well here. Um, next year, we may look into a couple of different 
things, but I think the best option is for us to adopt these now and um, be able to have a set of regulations that we can go with and be able to look at them later on if we see that anything needs to be changed. I think right now we're going to be setting up and preparing for something that's going to be really great to have. Good deal. Outstanding. But oh, any any questions? Speaker. Yes. Representative Randolph. Yes, Thank you, Speaker. Yes, sir. I was just going to ask the gentleman if they could tell us how this is going to strengthen our sovereignty. So, um, Representative Randolph, thanks for that question. Primarily, um, what this does is puts regulations in place. There are currently none, um, which there are no season limits, which means people could be hunting and fishing right now. What this is, is this is us putting a, putting a value um, as a nation on our, on our wildlife and on those resources, which are you know, technically not renewable. Um, they're plentiful in a lot of ways right now, but what this allows us to do is monitor those, those uh, populations, make sure that things are managed well so that in 10 years, we still have a healthy whitetail population. We still have a healthy wild turkey population. Um, one of the things Jake mentioned maybe being able to change is not setting our laws and tying directly to the state of Oklahoma. Um, allows us to do our own research and gather our own data. For example, if we um, determine through this wild wild turkey grant that we got, which we'll speak about here in a minute, if we determine, for example, that the wild turkey populations have really plummeted just specific to our reservation, this gives us the ability to change those seasons without having to go through the state to do that. So we're able to make population level changes um, that are best for our reservation here, um, and as, as well as protect those resources and allow those um, those populations to thrive under under our under our um, guidance um, instead of allowing or depending on the state to do that. Very good, thank you. What else, Speaker? Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none. Roll call vote, please. Joseph Hicks. Yes. Randall Hicks. Yes. Robert Hutt. Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomas Sinihola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. TR 22-145 is adopted. TR 22-146, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the execution of an application for explosives permit to allow the Muscogee Creek Nation's Division of Agriculture and Natural Resources to, com to complete the United States Fish and Wildlife Services grant funded research project telemetry study and restoration of habitat of wild turkey on the nation's reservation. Sponsor Representative Joseph Hicks. Speaker, I make a motion to adopt. Representative Joseph Hicks makes a motion to adopt. I second. Seconded by Representative Galen Cloud. Any discussion? Speaker, I'd like to give another, uh, some more time to Rep uh, uh, Trenton Kissy again, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Kissy. Thank you, Representative, and thank you, Speaker. Um, this is just a permit to allow us to um, basically keep a powder charge on hand. Um, and what that powder charge will be used for is powering an, an, a net, which will be used to capture wild birds um, safely. We will put the uh, backpack telemetry devices on those uh, birds and we'll monitor how they use our habitat down on our properties that we own, as well as survival and things like that. Um, and we can get into a ton of a ton of depth. Jake's here. Um, he wrote the grant and is going to be um, primarily doing the research on that. So if anybody's curious, we can get into the weeds. But that's that's what this permit's for, which will just allow us to hold these charges um, on federal property. Obviously, we'll be having them on trust property, and so we have to get this ATF permit um, in order to possess those those charges. But there will be no firearms associated with this. 
Outstanding, thank you. Council representatives, do you have any questions? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Huft? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. And Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasini Hala Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Aylan Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. TR 22-146 is adopted. Thank you, Speaker. You're welcome, sir. TR 22-147, a tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to enter into amendment number four to loan agreement with BOKF, NA, doing business as Bank of Oklahoma and the lenders party thereto. Sponsor, Representative Randall Hicks. Hold on, Speaker. Motion to uh, adopt. Representative Randall Hicks makes a motion to adopt. Second, oh, Randall. Speaker, Speaker. Yes, yes, sir. I'm sorry. I need to make a motion to postpone the legislation to September 24, 2022, the regular session agenda. I was uh, I was informed the uh, BOK attorney did not receive the documents in order for the necessary approval on her end. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be postpone okay. legislation. I'm sorry. Then you're good to go. Second. The motion. The motion has been revised to postpone until the September 24, 2022 regular session. Do I have a second? Say second. Seconded by Representative Joseph Hicks. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Heft? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Tom Singhala Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Aaron Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. TR 22-147 has been postponed to the regular session on September 24, 2022. NCA 22-107, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of the Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs support for Adam Walsh Act Implementation Grant Program for the benefit of the Light Horse Police Department. Sponsor is Representative Sandra Golden. Speaker, motion to adopt. Representative Sandra Golden makes a motion to adopt. Second. Second. Seconded by Representative Galen Cloud. Discussion. Do we have any discussion? Speaker, do we have anybody online for the uh, Light Horse Police to explain this? Light Horse, are you on the line? Good morning, Speaker and Council. This is Deputy Chief Daniel Wind. I am sure. on, obviously. So what this, what this will do will enhance our current SORNA program. Right now I have two SORNA officers um, who are covering all 11 counties. Um, their caseload is about 150 apiece and they're still adding on, um, adding on uh, supervised uh, sex offenders. What this grant will allow us to do is to hire on another SORNA officer. Um, it will also allow us to add an admin who can help keep their records and files and so forth. Um, again, this is just part of our growth here at Lighthorse and um, we will hopefully be continuing to add to these SORNA officers so that we can better uh, serve and protect our communities by keeping up with these with the sex offenders. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Do we have any questions for Mr. Wind? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. 
Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouch? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Hunt? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yeah. Charles McHenry? Yes. Tom Singihola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. NCA 22-107 is adopted. Next item on the, Thank you. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Next item on the agenda. NCA 22-108. A law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of grant funds awarded from the U.S. Department of Interior, Division of Economic Development, Office of Indian Eco Economic Development, for the benefit of the Office of the Secretary of the Nation and Commerce. Sponsor, Representative Mark Randolph. Motion to adopt. Representative Mark Randolph makes a motion to adopt. Second, Representative Hicks. Seconded by Representative Randall Hicks. Discussion. Do we have any discussion? Speaker. Yes, sir. Is there anybody that can speak on this? I just like to hear a little more information about it. Representative Randolph, do you? Speaker, can we give some time to Jesse Allen, please? Certainly, yes, sir. Jesse, are you on the line, sir? Yes, Speaker, this is actually through, I believe, as Mr. Harjo would be uh, more appropriate to speak on this. Very well. Uh, Mr. Harjo, are you online, sir? Yep, I sure am. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is the first of two uh, NAVDI, so Native American Business Development uh, Institute grants that the nation was awarded. Uh, I believe this first one Let's see. Okay, no, this was, so this is a recent application we put in for 2022 that we awarded, and this will be conducting a feasibility study for commercial development of the Luke Square Ranch. Um, we're currently uh, in the final phase of getting awarded an EDA grant to extend a water line uh, that will be a commercial grade water line. And so basically, this is kind of the second half of that uh, effort to just determine what options uh, we have to develop, you know, a small section of the Luke Square Ranch for commercial uh, projects now, what, and that could be, you know, a RV park. It could be a retail space. Or it could be any number of things. But we're looking for some funding, and we are awarded funding uh, to go through those options and figure out what uh, what works best for the nation. Great, thank you, sir. Do you have any comments, questions for Representative Harjo, or excuse me, Mr. Harjo, Representative Hicks? Did that answer your question, sir? Yes, speaker. Thank you. Okay, very well. Any other questions, comments, council representatives? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Mark Randolph? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Huft? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Tom Singhola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. NCA 22-108 is adopted. NCA 22-109, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of grant funds awarded from the U.S. Department of Interior Division of Economic Development, Office of Indian Economic Development for the benefit of the Office of the Secretary of the Nation and Commerce. Sponsors, Representative Mark Randolph. Motion to adopt. Representative Mark Randolph makes a motion to adopt. Second. Seconded by Representative Charles McHenry. Discussion. Mr. Harjo, give, uh, Mr. Harjo, some time. Thank yes, you. sir. Very well. Thank you, Representative Randolph. 
but oh, speaker, Mr. or and, uh, Representative Randolph, sorry. Um, so this grant is actually the same grant, but it comes from a previous award year. Uh, we submitted an application to NAPD uh, back in 2020 for a hemp feasibility study. Uh, we weren't awarded in the original uh, award period, and but the, uh, I guess, recipient tribe that was originally awarded could not accept it. So we were the first uh, alternate. And one of the, I guess, small revisions is our original uh, budget request was not, uh, we have to accept the award that was given to the other tribe that was originally supposed to be awarded. So we're receiving a reduced amount, but um, I'm personally very interested in hemp as well as several of the other national council members. And so this uh, award will be uh, to conduct a hemp feasibility study, I believe in Okfusky County. So um, we're moving through uh, the process of getting that moved forward once this legislation is passed, hopefully. And we'll be working with uh, Carly Hotbet of University of, I believe, was it Northwest Arkansas? But she has a, a USDA program that will help us kind of explore our options in terms of hemp and commercial hemp production. Outstanding, thank you, sir. Any comments, questions for Mr. Harjo? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Mark Randall? Yeah. Kaylin Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Carl McHenry? Yes. Thomas Yehola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. NCA 22 190 is adopted. Last item on the agenda, NCA 22 110 a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of grant funds awarded from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the benefit of the Muscogee Creek Nation Department of Housing. Sponsors, Representative Galen Cloud. Speaker, I make a motion to adopt. Representative Galen Cloud makes a motion to adopt. Second. Seconded by Representative Joseph Hicks. Discussion. Do you have any discussion? Speaker, I'll have to give some time to uh, Nadine Beauty. Yes, sir. Secretary Beauty, are you on the line, ma'am? Yes, sir, I am. Um, good afternoon, Speaker and National Council. This grant is the um, Indian Community Development Block Grant, American Rescue Plan Act that we applied for last year. We were awarded it, I believe, back in February, um, received notification from the HUD office in March. We were initially going to use it to purchase some rental units in Okima, but once we did a thorough inspection of those units, um, we decided to look towards Sand Springs where we were able to um, acquire a 12 unit apartment complex in lieu of the original planned part of that decision was due to the condition of those units in Okima. Um, since these are fairly a newer property, we feel that we will be better in this purchase and able to serve as soon as possible additional citizens. In the grant, we also included providing temporary shelter for approximately 39 homeless individuals. Um, we actually are working on, on that right now so that we can possibly do some type of hotel stays. Um, it's a very limited grant. We have a certain time frame for that. And then we've also looked at um, purchasing some care packages for the homeless that we will be serving as well as um, the elderly. We look to do these monthly um, in Dewar, Eufaula, Coweta, Muscogee, Okima, and Sepulpa. And then of course our current um, elderly housing tenants. Um, so we're just getting ready to get these programs going and start using that funding within the allotted time frame, which I believe ends next year. Um, we request for an extension until March of next year. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions, Council Representative, for Secretary Beauty? <clears throat> uh, Secretary Beauty, I have one. Just quickly, do you, do you know how many homeless we may have within our within our tribe? No, I do not know that 
information right now. I know um, it was a discussion that I know Miranda and I had at one point okay. um, trying to determine what would be the best way to assist those in that situation, but I do not know an exact number. Okay, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Any other questions, council representatives, comments? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Kaylin Cloud? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Robert Huft? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasine Yehola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Three, uh, 15 in favor, zero against. 15 in favor, zero against. NCA 22 110 is adopted. That concludes our emergency session agenda. We are down to announcements. Do we have any announcements, representatives? I guess we'll see yes, each other. I, yes, I, I do. Go ahead, sir. Uh, you know, while we was down in uh, Georgia, I don't know if y'all heard, but one of the Duck Creek members, Fred Brown, uh, had went down on the pavement and he's still in a the hospital. They don't know whether he has a brain bleed or whether his brain is swelling. They moved him to ICU. And so just keep the, the Brown family in prayer. Fred Brown is his name. He was from Duck Creek. Yes, sir. We and certainly so, will. Thank you. Yes. And speaker. Hey, yes, speak. Representative Randolph. I'm sorry, was Mr. Harjo finished? I didn't mean to jump in. <laughs> Representative Harjo, were you were you done, sir? Yeah, I, I, I'm done. You're fine. Very well. Representative Randolph, then Chief. I just want thank you. I wanted to announce that uh, we received a call when we we're in Georgia that Leonard Harjo had passed away. He's one of our elders that was in his 90s, and so would like to keep them in prayer. Also, thank you. Certainly will. Thank you, Chief Hill. You have an announcement, sir. Uh, speaker, I'll, I'll send you a text or an email, uh, or unless you want me to send it to uh, second second speaker about what we're doing. Uh, me and Sean uh, Terry's been in contact with John John Brown since he is still there with Macon. So I'll, I'll send you a quick uh, quick um, text or email. I'll just send it to both y'all. Yes, I sir. just don't want I just don't want to say it on this call. Yes, sir. Understood. Very well. Thank you, Chief. Is there anything else you'd like no. to share, sir? You good? Any other announcements? Yeah. Okay, great, great. Any other announcements? I know we have a, a joint committee at 545 and planning at 630. So we will see each all see each other again all this evening. Any more announcements? Hearing none, on to adjournment. We'll have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Representative Nelson Harjo makes a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Seconded by Representative Joseph Hicks. All in favor, say aye. Uh, aye. 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 Any aye. opposed, same sign. Hearing none opposed, we are adjourned. I would like to ask Representative Anna Marshall to say our benediction, which will serve as our adjournment. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Let us pray. Creator God, we just come to you at this time and we just thank you for granted, granting us the wisdom and the courage and, and just adhering to your direction this morning as we went about doing the business of the nation and being led by you. And we just ask that we, you just continue to bless this nation and bless all of, all of the people and around the world because we know that we're living in chaotic and uncertain times and days. And we just ask that you just continue to lead and guide us in the future and all the things that we say and do. And we ask all these things in your name. Amen. 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 My old representative Amen. Marshall, we are adjourned at 1230 PM. Everyone have a great afternoon. My old. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.